Howdy folks, it's RJ Helms here with Let's Play Open TGD Furs Episode 7. Just full disclosure, um, I am actually recording this episode for the second time. I recorded it at the same time that I recorded Episode 6, but made a bunch of really foolish mistakes, so I thought I'd take another crack at it, so um, I'm not going to necessarily try to do exactly what I did in the last episode, but just be aware that um, some of the things that I'm going to be doing here I already tried once before, and didn't succeed at, so, um, hopefully things will go better this time. So in the last episode, we hooked up this bauxite mine, DNGS, going along our metal supply chain, and also started working on getting this stockyard at BKKE hooked up. And so I connected up this, um, this mixed farm, or sheep farm at DNGN, and I was lamenting the lack of good um, good livestock producers until right at the end of the episode I realized that of course I already had two, which were these two mixed farms that I'm already servicing for their plant fibers. So the first thing we're going to want to do, um, or one of the first things we're going to want to do, is get livestock trains going from these, you know, a tram going from SKHM over to STNM, and then a, a livestock train going into the stockyard. But before I do that, one thing I realized right after... Um, I recorded episode 6, was that I actually made a pretty foolish mistake with the farm supplies train going to DNGN, and we can actually see the problem here if we look at where this train is. It is sitting here going this way, which is odd because it's coming from this station and it's trying to go down to this station. But that's of course because there's no actual direct way to do that. Um, the way this is set up, you can't merge from this line on to this one, because that would be a too sharp of a turn. Trans can only make 90 degree turns maximum. And there's no other route. The more direction would be down here and perhaps some sort of merge onto this line. So I'm not going to stress it for this one that's already going. Um, it's going to make its way, but I'm going to build the connection and I'm going to build it over here. Um, and one thing I want to start doing, one thing I'm probably going to actually spend a fair deal of time this episode doing is fixing up some of these junctions because this one in particular is becoming a really significant bottleneck for our system. So once we get those um, this fixed and have the livestock trains going, like I said, from here over to BKKE, I think um, a good order of business will be to actually start improving improving some of our junctions. I'm actually going to start by building good junctions here. So I'm going to have this split off and merge over to this one. Is that right? Yes, okay, I need to hide some trees here. Yeah, it's gonna just merge down way over here. Just like that. So I'm just doing some simple... Oh, there's not enough room for that there. Oh, oh well. I'll make it work. These are just simple half-loop junctions. You can get pulled back, you should pull back all the way back to there. Perfect. And I've signaled this up. One thing I've done kind of redundantly, it's actually not a huge problem, but you don't actually need path signals here, for example, where two tracks merge into one, because there's no matter of pathing. A train here and a train here, neither one can go until this block is free. It's only where you have splits that using a path signal before a split actually gains you any sort of efficiency. So similarly, this needs to be a path signal, but there's no point in any of these being. And I believe, I guess, I do also need to improve this. This junction, yes, because this actually needs to support trains coming and leaving in both directions. Okay, so let's think this through. 
one thing that's important to do when you're when you're improving an intersection like this that already is trained servicing it is to as much as possible not leave it broken because trains will make really really silly pathing decisions um, if you've got a, a station a route temporarily or partially disconnected it'll try to find a long way around you can actually totally break your pathfinding and jam things up completely that's one of the things that happened the last time I recorded this episode um, that made me want a do-over Like this guy a full signal, that makes sense. Now this one can go out onto this track. And here I want this guy to tunnel under. This is my exit track. Yeah, and go just like that. I'm actually going to pull this down, the entrance in this direction. Make that the pass. And also trains coming in can come in this way. And this is actually going to come back one more tile. Now, where in the world is this train going? Okay, so it made it and it's on its way back in whatever silly way that that's requiring to do. Okay, so let's improve this. Um, I want to keep this pretty tight. Now it's going to have to come back one further because this is going to have to jump under that one. That's not what I wanted to place. Okay, so let's see. So that's all good. And this guy needs to be a path signal. Okay, so now this station, I mean, that's a little bit ugly. Oh, but it is functional. So this guy should be able to, once it has a chance to leave from here, I'm just gonna fast forward and watch this. But it should be able to go down here, down here, and onto this track. Yeah, it takes that turn, so it's working fine. Perfect. Okay, that's that problem solved. We'll probably need some more of these, but we can deal with that. As the time comes. Yeah, I will take the exclusive use of that. I'm curious about it. And speaking of trams, now it's time to get the livestock trains going. I'm gonna clone this guy not shared orders because you're gonna be live 
STNM to BKKE. You're gonna get pop into that group. And you can get started. So actually, I do want to keep you up. And now go to trams. I want a livestock SKHM transfer to STNM. Yeah, this guy's just a bigger, slightly bigger, higher capacity wagon for wagon. So let's, and it's refittable to all the passengers. Perfect. So I will use this tram, refit it to livestock, a medium train. You can just have the exact same orders as that one. And then you go into this group and you can get started and I'll keep you up. Tuck you guys over on the side here. I'm actually going to expand these stations. A little bit more. And I'm going to give them the turning lane here as well, or the reversing lane. Okay, let's try doing this one as well. Let's see if I can do it with... Yeah, just like this. Yeah, that's looking quite functional. Okay, now, since this guy's on its way, which is gonna be the first train that's gonna drop off goods at BKKE, it would be really nice if it could have my food train actually waiting there before this got here. So I'm gonna cheat a little and pause the game just while I do the research about what I want. So as far as food goes, let's look at capacity, there's a container car. Hmm, that's interesting. Much cheaper to run than the covered hoppers or the reefers, which is compelling choice. And if I go to my engines, yeah, I think I want to stay on the Selkirk. So Selkirk, container cars up to almost one too far, almost nine cars long. Oh, it's here, no. Refit to food and go there. Full load and you can get started now. Ah, uh, it's probably just a minute too late. And then go to Stockholm. Yeah, just missed it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, it did get them. I was... Okay, there's another train that dropped off. You are train 51. Oh, right, you're the manufacturing supplies train. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and I need to put you in a group. So you are food from BKKE to SKH. And so far, so good. This guy has dropped out of 
Gung Ho Productions. So what I'm actually going to do is just kicking some of these guys out of the station just because... Actually, no, I think what this means is I need to expand the station a little bit, so I'm going to build two more platforms for it. You can't find a path to continue. Where are you and what's your problem? And you've got to get out. I've got the same problem happening here. That these are getting backed up. That's the problem. So something's going awry here. I can take the cheap approach of building some more platforms. Your gasoline train, your chemicals train. So something's not working quite right here. This needs a new livestock tram, which I can easily get started. And this, um, I need a new one of these guys as well. Oh, did I build the wrong one? Oh, okay, that's fine. Or did I put them in the wrong group? Yeah, the groups are backwards. So you're actually in this group, and you, Train 52, are actually in this group. So that's fine. Train 54, you will stop sharing orders and actually copy from this one. And now you'll be no longer lost. Yes, yeah, when I split the two in this group, I copied the older one rather than the newer one into the new group. That's fine. So I've got a lot of oil trains here dropping off. Can you actually block off this line? I don't like that one bit when you're waiting there. So I'm actually going to make a quite quick and dirty optimization here. Because actually this is going to come out there. Once again, mergers don't need path signals. There's actually no need for a path signal here where they merge. Now that's something I didn't want to have happen. So let's think about this a bit better. I want trains coming in. So this doesn't need a pass signal because yeah, it's getting bogged down by the fact that this block in here is a little sloppy. 
is blocking itself. So what I can actually do is give that a one-way signal there. Nope, that's not doing quite what I want. What I need is a one-way path signal there. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll try having that guy back at being a normal signal. This is a little weird. But it'll do okay. Hmm. So I've got a jam here. This is once again why you've got to... I need to improve my station sooner rather than later. At least this case is not due to a... So where are you trying to go? You're going to... Stockholm. So you need to go up there. Which you can't do because this guy is trying to get down here. Which it can't do because this one is trying to get up there. Which it can't do because these guys... Okay, yeah, so this is why good junctions are important. What improvement I can make that will unclog this? What I can do is maybe improve some of the spacing of these signals? No, it doesn't look like there's anything going to be made more efficient there. That was good, but not good enough. You won't let me build that because it's a train in the way, of course. Let's try to get some of these trains. Into these depots just to clear up some of this jam. This depot is obviously just a temporary thing just to free up some space. Okay, let's think about improvements. So one obvious improvement is that this length here, from here down to there, since the train has to stop here, 
you know, seven car train is blocking this last bit here. So if I make this into a proper half loop junction, so this ducks under and joins up over there, I'll have the advantage of making this longer as well, the spacing here, which will prevent that from happening. Through the path signal, you're just a regular signal. This can all go away. You have no need of being a path signal. And I'll have the two trains that are in here out. And at the very least, that specific scenario that was causing that blockage won't occur again. Or at least it's much less likely to. This is ticking along quite nicely. Well, I've stuck our piling up here, but I really can't trust anything that's on this side of this, this mess. All right, but this is empty and can go away. That was just a temporary solution. Oh, I've got a bad signal here. You should just be a plain old signal rather than a path signal in the wrong direction. I can close all these and get a better view of what I'm doing. I see you once again, no purpose being a path signal. Okay, so I need to rebuild this. So in the short term, I'm just going to kind of duplicate this functionality with a bit more space. I don't need this anymore. I 
what I'm gonna actually do here is bridge these over like that. So a couple of things that are going to be foolish about this, but... Actually, I want this to come down even further. Yeah, that's perfect. You can actually merge with this, just so. Confuse myself here. Okay, I think this makes some measure of sense. If this comes back even one further... This as well. Okay, but I've missed something here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is turning into spaghetti. Okay, that's fine. Um... Fast forward this for a while and watch it. I 
It's certainly flowing a lot better. Another thing I want to see here, I'm going to call this here. That could certainly be improved, but it's a big improvement already. This would be the next guy to tackle. It should just be a proper four-way junction. You know, I actually probably was <clears throat> way off base on this as well. Um, I can replace all this with one big four-way junction as well. Maybe just pull this over to where this comes in like that over here. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. I thought it was an improvement though, for sure. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I can't do. Actually, yes, there is. It's this, um... This food train is gonna have to go the long way. It's gonna have to go here, down here, and up and over. Which is apparently successfully done. But okay, I think that's fine. Um, it's an improvement. How are we doing down at this station? Let's just watch this for a moment, make sure it's not bogging down too badly. It seems to be working okay. How are you doing here? It's still just at normal production, so where are those engineering supply trains? Both on their way. So I'm actually going to build another one. Oh, that vehicle's not available. Right, I knew that. I'm going to clone one of you, but put you in this group. Let's get one more in there to be safe. But that's the last thing I'm going to do. Um, so in the next episode, I think we still have to look at improving our junctions. I mean, these amounts that are piling up here don't make any sense because there's a couple problems with their infrastructure. So in the next episode, our first order of business is going to actually do this properly. Um, rebuild this as the four-way junction it's been all along. Um, and then do the same thing here. Rebuild this as a nice proper four-way junction. Probably what I'll do is pull this to be straight and up so it can meet here as a nice crossing. Um, and do the same thing here. Pull this over so it can meet up here. As a four-way crossing. So we'll do that in the next episode, though. For now, um... Shifty as this is... I think it can handle the current traffic that's going on without actually totally jamming. Seems to be working okay. I'll just keep an eye on it for another couple minutes. Yeah, it feels a lot better, so I'm happy with that. It could be better yet. Um, but as far as, you know, reverse engineering a couple of silly choices into something that has higher capacity, that was a su uh, success. But lesson learned, what this actually is, is a spaghetti attempt at a four-way junction. So the next improvement to make is to make it properly a four-way junction. Um, that can take a backseat to fixing this junction, so I think what I'll do is in the next episode, step one, fix this junction. Step two, 
observe how our capacity looks after that's been done. And then step three, plan further network improvements with this being a prime candidate. Um, making these guys proper half loop junctions would probably work fairly well as well. And here, and here, and here. There's a lot of, and here, um, yeah, and here. There's a lot of junctions that are, are these strange, just two lines meeting at a 45 degree angle that where one line blocks the other and that can be improved just by making them half loops like we did here. This can be some strange makeshifted half loop sort of thing. Um, but yeah, this has gone on for long enough, spent a bit more time than I wanted to Jimmy rigging that, um, that junction that just made some spaghetti. So I'm going to end this here. This has been Open TTT Furs. I've been RJ Helms. Thanks so much for watching. As always, leave uh, leave some comments below if you have any feedback about this. In particular, if there's any types of four-way junctions that you think work pretty well um, for these situations, just point me to them. There's great resources on the wiki and the um, Open TTT co-op website, um, which are always fun to refer to for new junction designs. I've got a good handle on three-way junctions, but four-way junctions, as you might have noticed, sometimes cause me some grief. So if you've got any things that you like to use, let me know what they are and maybe we can play with them. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.